Hello friends, it's been a long time that I haven't uploaded any video. It's because there were holidays of Dasai and Tihar. So uh, they are one of the biggest festivals of Nepal. Okay, so that is my country, right? And after that, I suffered from cough and due to which I couldn't record any video. Still now, I'm having this cough. And since it has been a long time that I haven't uploaded any video, so I'm recording it anyhow, right? So in this video, I'll show you how the combined footing reinforcement is placed at the side, okay? So I've already prepared a video in which I've explained all these drawings over here. Uh, before watching this video, I suggest you to watch that video first and you'll know the basic drawings of the combined footing, okay? The link is provided in the description below. All right, so I'll give you a brief review of these drawings, okay? All right, so uh, this is the plan of the combined footing. And by now, if you have watched that video, then you must have known that why we provide the combined footing right okay so uh, this is the plan and you can see two columns over here so these two columns have this common footing and due to which it is called a combined footing right if we see the xx section of this plan you can see xx section cuts like this and says in this direction right so we'll see uh, like this okay so section at xx is written over here and uh, so depth of the uh, footing is d and you can get this value from the table that is presented over here right okay and if we talk about the reinforcement you can see that we got the lower mesh and we got the upper mesh as well in the lower mesh we got the main bars that are at the bottom okay so the main bar they run along the solid span and they are at the bottom and the top bars are the binders and in the upper mesh this scenario is opposite okay so the main bars are at the top and the binders are at the bottom these two mesh the upper mesh and the lower mesh they form a case like structure on which the reinforcement of the column also goes inside of it okay so here you can see that in this case uh, you got uh, this portion over here as hatched so this is the shear wall right so this is column one this is column two and this middle portion is the shear wall okay so sometimes you have got shear wall between two columns and this uh, has portion over here represents the shear wall all right if you want to get the value of the reinforcement then you can get ast1 uh, you can get from the table below right so for example it's ast2 bottom and ast4 bottom okay so uh, let's see for any uh, combined footing for example combined footing one so uh, how the combined footing is named so you have to see the footing plan for that and i've explained that in the previous video Okay, so for example, combined footing one, uh, it's a kind of footing. Okay, so if you got many footings in a building, so the footings are named differently, like combined footing one, combined footing two, combined footing three. So this is a type of footing. Okay, so the size of the footing is 4195 by 2850. That is length by breadth. Okay, so size A, what is size A, size B, and size C? So these uh, represent uh, these values, right? Okay, so A, B, C, you can see from here, so face to the center of the column. Okay. All right, so uh, let's not go into these things, okay, so because I have already explained them. So if we see the AST1 top, okay, AST2 bottom, so we are looking for AST3 top, right, or AST4 bottom, okay. So it says that 12 mm diameter bars at the rate 100 mm center to center. AST4 bottom also 12 mm diameter bars, 100 mm center to center. So these, this it means that, so these, these bars, so these dots, so they are placed 100 mm center to center and they are of 12 mm right similarly for the upper bars so they are of 12 mm and they are placed 100 mm center to center and same goes on the upper mesh as well all right so this is how the reinforcement of the combined footing is detailed now let us see how the reinforcement is actually placed at the site hello friends welcome to the site now and you can see the workers are working so uh, the workers have placed the lower mesh of the combined footing and now they are erecting the reinforcement of the columns right okay so you can see that at the lower mesh the 12 mm diameter bars have been placed and they are placed at 100 mm center to center in both longer as well as the shorter direction and here you can see how the reinforcement of the columns are bent at the footing level okay all right guys so now you can see a complete combined footing reinforcement placed at the site okay so uh, you can see two columns and a footing all right so if we see the footing in closer view then you can see that it got it got two mess 
the lower mesh and the upper mesh. In both the cases, 12 mm diameter bars have been placed and they are placed at the spacing of 100 mm center to center. And the beam like structure that you see over here is also a kind of footing. And I'll talk about this footing in a different video why and how it is placed. So I'll talk about it in a different video. All right. Okay, so now you can see a complete combined footing after the footing has been concreted, right? So this is how a combined footing looks like with two columns having a single footing. Okay, all right guys, so uh, this was for this video. Hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and take care.